Greetings to you all in the name of Jesus Christ. This is my testimony about heaven and hell. It's really true. May you be blessed as you listen in Jesus' name. Amen. Stage 4. Hell is really true. Hell is a dome and hell is an abyss. Hell was like a bottomless of the earth, nor it was like a bottomless of the outer space. Hell has an immeasurably depth. Hell has a great space. Hell is a condemnation, life of loneliness, destruction, judgment, place, everlasting punishment, place of misery, torment, grief, extremely unpleasant, inescapable situation, most dreadful or most worse, very hard and ugly place. It is horrifying and terrifying while I have fallen down in an abyss. Hell is so dark and it is really true. It was intensely frightening. Screams of the mob. The pit of hell is wide and endless. I heard huge people screaming for help and gnashing their teeth. I feel they are really tormented of the lake of fire forever. Panic was on their faces. While I am holding the hand of our God Almighty, I was so scared and I couldn't breathe because it is like there is no air in the hill. It is like a huge black tunnel. And even though I didn't reach yet in the lake of fire, however, I, I could feel my skin was so hot. There is no beauty inside the hell. The only color you will see is black and red. And there is no more beauty and light. The hell that God showed me was much worse than what I have heard described by other people. And God said to me, My child, don't be afraid. I am with you. This is real hell, and you must tell my people not to go here. And I said to our Lord Jesus, Yes, my Lord Jesus, I will tell them that hell is really, really true. God said to me again, My child, these people did not know me and don't love me. And God gave me a vision of all the people in the hell while God and me was falling down in an abyss. Then God opened my mind about hell, what it looked like. I could see flames and dark smoke rising from a deep pit. It was like the crater of a volcano. And inside I could see flames scorching a multitude of people who were screaming and crying in all kinds of agony. I could see people were naked without hair and standing close to one another moving like worms and the flames were scorching their bodies there was no escape for those who were captured in the pit its walls were too deep for them to climb and hot coals of fire were all around the ages the pit of hell that raging inferno of violence corruption and shame some of them i'm sure had heard about the lord jesus christ but I felt quite certain that no one had ever explained to them who Jesus was. If they had known who God truly really was, then they would not have made the choice they had. I wish I could tell them about Him who said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Lord Jesus Christ said, does not want anyone to end up in the pit of hell. If we believe, we will have eternal life with the Lord Jesus. If you don't believe, you will find yourself in the place of torments that endure all eternity. It is a personal choice. It is God's way versus Satan's way. I was determined that no one else within my reach would be able to deny the reality of hell and heaven. Heaven is real, and hell is so real, and I want everyone to be able to go there with me in heaven paradise. 
I know that this is the Lord's desire as well. Heaven it feels like kingdom. It is a kingdom of heaven versus the kingdom of the darkness. It is life versus death. It is heaven versus hell, which will win in our life. The choice is ours to make. We always have to remember that God will never want to see anyone perish. And because I am afraid to say the entire dark kingdom of hell, I said to our Lord Jesus, My Lord Jesus, I don't want here. I want to be with you forever. It is enough for me to know that there is hell and I would tell your people on earth. And our Lord Jesus lifted me instantly to the stairway to heaven.